guys, Thomas from Team Sakurasu here. Come at you guys with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Market Watch today. And not only do we have buyouts, but we have lost arts we need to cover, some cards you need to get before they go up, and some other stuff. So if you guys enjoy these market watches, make sure to smash that like button. If we get 100 likes on this video, that'd be great. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. 32% of people who watch my market watches are not subscribed. In my news videos, which I did one as my last video, new ghost Runner, go check it out. About 50% of people not subscribed so i'm gonna tell you guys nicely on this video to subscribe but the next time if you're not subscribed there's gonna be trouble all right i know who you are all right you get last warning man subscribe man <laughs> i'm just playing uh you know we're close to 4100 so that'd be great uh if you guys are buying anything off tcg player please use my link down in the description below it helps out the channel to no additional cost to you thank you to all my youtube channel members thank you for keeping the lights on and helping me do this more and more i really do appreciate all my youtube channel members thank you guys so much if you guys want me to go over any cards in the next market watch let me know in the comment section below i love it when you guys alert me of buyouts tell me cards to go over and all of that and we're just gonna hop right into this guru wings of resident life now power of the elements is not getting reprinted in the tins i'm gonna say that every single time until we essentially get to the tins because i get people not knowing every video uh because of that the cards that are in here are going up because if you need it as generic hey we don't know when this is gonna get reprinted right now got a light play here for 17 near mints for about 28 here for first edition near mints we got 23 and 25 before that. But this card is slowly approaching a $30 price tag, which is not insane to me because this is one of the best Super Poly targets. If you're running Super Poly, you're running this. I see this played at locals, big events, everywhere, right? It's just a really, really good card. Now, I made a small mistake on the last Marco Watch. I said, hey, maybe Konami might ban this card because it's banned at Worlds. And I forgot this is a TCG exclusive card, actually. Uh, and you know, I, I, when I make a mistake, I like being corrected, right? And I bring it to you guys, a lot of TCG exclusives out there. So thank you to those who corrected me, uh, on your market set dual CR is getting about. Now I talked about this card around 13, $14 with dual Academy. I said, Hey, this is a card you're going to want. It's not a bad card for synchro if they decide to play it, but it's also a collector card for 5ds because if you guys actually really look at it it and this is what i have my copy of this card not only do you have you slay and jack atlas but you even got like the dual screens if you watched 5ds you're gonna like this card a lot more when this card activated you and you uh if you control another cards you add a synchro monster from your deck to your hand right so you play it, it's just an auto search right during the standby phase you can put a single uh, counter on this card and you can remove two single counters from your field and send this card uh, uh, from the face up card to the graveyard draw two cards and send one card from your hand to the graveyard that's not gonna matter too much here but it's really just the ad like second effect is it's not gonna pop off but crs right now they do go to 35 but you have a light play here for 21 might want to grab that copy while you could Alter guys, now Alter guys are getting bought out because people are learning the deck more and more. And Primal Banshee, a card that I told you guys is going to see some play, is believe it or not a three of it's looking like on lists. I thought it would be two copies, but I didn't want to say for sure. I just said, hey, this is being going to be played, uh, which this card was a one over a zero in Alter guys for those who didn't know. And right now you got 23 listings. It's used for the new combos. When you get these slobbered on copies off the market, you got $2 here. Oh, that's not bad, right? But then when you come over here, right, you look in the middle. You're like, huh, that's $4 because $3 shipping. Huh, that's $4.22. Huh, $3.75 plus $1.54. I ain't doing that mouth, but that's money. It's five, like $24. Uh, quick mess. Uh, if I'm wrong, it's going to be so bad. Uh, you know, $6 here. Then when you go first edition here, you got 10 listings, $3.50. Going up to like the $7 mark here. If you need this card, well, it's going up. Uh, the 2018s are not awful right now. I mean, you got 75 cents going up to like five, six bucks here. Not bad at all here. You got the Hextias here at about a dollar. Now, people really like this card because this is the Arad version. If you guys don't know, the OCG had different card techs. And I don't know if it was by accident or not because it's been a long time. But when we got this in, I believe it was like Extreme Force. Uh, something like that yeah i think it was called extreme force right extreme force yeah 
we had different text and when they, they repaired this card to correct the text. And it's a cool looking ultra. So people also prefer this, you know, higher rarity, all that. Meliseek here from Circuit Break. These are roughly two bucks here. You put first edition verified on, like two bucks, three dollars. So you're going up. If you want to play Geist, you have cheap versions to play them, but the money ones are going up. 66 listings, dollars here, two dollars. I'm actually shocked to see this card not hit five bucks. Like, I really am. OTS 22 here. Now, we have thrusts here, 124, going up to 133. Am I surprised at this price point? Not really. I mean, people have also been wanting a $100 ulti from OTS for a while. We have branded fusion here at 80. Is this going to go down, by the way? Now, I have heard. And this is from uh, a few trusted sources. I, well, two, I should say. I want to confirm it more, right? So take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt here. But apparently, we're not going to get this in circulation for as long as we had 21, 20, 19, and 18. Where it felt like we had those OTS packs forever. And everything in that set just crashed. Because we were literally getting that OTS for way longer than we should have. And it was way higher quantity. Uh, branded opening here, and if that's true, by the way, prices might stick a little more. Branded opening is about $85 here. Is it going to go down? I definitely think so. Uh, then you got the pearly at about $70, $71. I think this one's definitely going to be the cheaper one out of three, but you don't need me telling you that. Pearly, happy memory here. Two bucks. Okay. Brad lost. Good super. Three bucks here. Two, three bucks. Okay. You know. Uh, nimble angler about buck fair unchained by a dollar two that's ultras were like fives and secrets are like nine ten so expect to have a little bit of value i don't know what that card is not gonna pretend like i do then runic uh dispelling this is the one of so i didn't think it was gonna be a lot of money anyway could it go up when we get the new runic reprints absolutely in fact uh so a runic card that you're gonna want to see is actually in this set here Duelist Nexus, 231 here uh, for your Magician Bonds. Uh, Revolution Sinker on 220, okay. 144 for Crimson, 120 for Visas. The Unchained Soul holding about 100. These were about 100, 510. I said, eh, I feel like you'll go to 80. Everything else here is going to dip a little bit, come up a little bit, right? Uh, people really like the Magician of Bonds at UD, but I feel like, I feel like this card at 200... I feel like you'll you'll reach closer to 200 than like 250, but that's just how I feel right now. Uh, e pearly about 120. Okay, uh, you got a cheap copy here for about 69, 70 for Cosmic Quasar. I think that Quasar is probably gonna hold 60s, 65, maybe 70. I think that's a fair price. Emperor Charles here 77. Looks like a very cool card as well. Fair. Uh, you got sinful spoils. This will go up. Uh, pretty soon when we get the next core set, and I think that's why people also don't want to get rid of it. But if you're interested in getting this card before it goes up, uh, again, I would keep an eye on it because I think this could hit 40. F 45, let's say 45. Uh, Evolves are large. You know, you could use it in other things, so 60 is okay. Chimera 80, very good to get the Chimera 80. I think that's very worth it. Uh, the Mekanko dropped to 50. Yeah, I saw that dropping a mile away. Angelica is dropping. I believe she's a one of. I think that she's not going to drop below 50 just because she looks absolutely gorgeous. He died at 60 is really good. You could also use in Rescue Ace. Very. I think it's not bad. too bad at 60. Uh, Dark Quarter, 52. Slutner at 60. Uh, yeah, I mean, I expected that. Ultra Guys admin at 40. Now, granted, a lot of people are still opening up boxes of this. So, I feel like we're going to see dips more into week two, week three uh, of this set here. Revolution Synchron is at about $60 here, which, you know, I expected. Then you have the Nightmare Magician here at 44 Then you have Tokuso Shinjo at about 45 I don't think that's bad. Fusion Arm Limit at 40 I think that's very fair. Uh, then you got the Tistana card at 31 30 What I think about the Tistana cards, by the way, is I would actually get the normal regular versions because once we get support in the next set, I think the deck's going to be a lot better because right now you need to open up three specific cards for the deck to go off. Deck is not good right now. You are going to struggle at locals with this deck by far, and that's not good. Not good at all. 20 on the Crimson, I mean... I thought at 15 it was going to be fine. I think it could have been one of the synchros I hit 10 eventually, but 
Eh, it went up more towards 20. Uh, 14 on Chimera. I told people to get that 5. That was like the one pre-sale I think I told people to get. Well, no, there's two. That Dark Quarter at 11. I just don't think there's enough Dark World players to keep the price. That's that's what I, I think, personally. It's not that it's a bad card. Uh, 8s on Starfrost. 8s on Sinful Spoil. I think 8s are very good here. 8s on Tukusa. I saw these at 5s. So I'm like, man. I just, if this goes lower, I don't care. I would just get them at fives at that point, but you could keep an eye on it. Uh, I got mine at five, and it's a $8 card. I think people are really sleeping on this card, like a crazy amount here. Uh, Unchained about six. This was holding threes, now it's about six. This card is going to go up one time, I believe, in its life, and that is when we get the Runic support. Well, not the Runic support, I apologize. The Runic reprints. That's when this card is going to go up. Lars sitting at four, Charles at three. Okay, you know, a lot of this set I don't have much to say at because it's like, well, it's trying to hold value. Again, I think the Tistana cards at threes, very good to pick up right now uh, before they go up eventually. Dollar on the Super Red Eyes Meteor, that's good to see here. Um, I want a Quasar just to have it. Super Xales at about a dollar, that's really cool. Uh, Chimera Fusion at a dollar, that's also really cool. So we're having some dollar supers here. I really, really like that actually. Magician Salvation. Now, they don't have the picture up yet, but if you guys watched my Lost Art video, which a good amount of you did, uh, I didn't really like this Lost Art, even for Dark Magician, and it looks like the market is trying to push these out at 4-5. Uh, will it go further down? I don't think it can hit, like, a dollar. I don't think it's going to do that, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to go low. Now, Vampire Vamp, a card that we have kept an eye on here and there for quite some time. And I remember being wrong about this at $2, actually. And it went down to 4 I said, you know, if you want to get back at 4 or 5 it could get bought out. History does repeat itself. And here we are, uh, history repeating self. Uh, if we go verify and we go near mints here, because a lot of them are going to want with the sleeve, or they want their Lost Arts near mint, these are $8 going up to 10 Granted, there's a, cop, there's a wall of 31 here, but... Hey, people really like this card. I don't blame them. It kind of feels like a Castlevania reference. In fact, that's what it might be. I know Vampire Hunter for sure is. Vampire Vamp, I'm not too sure, but it looks ominescent to Castlevania, which is a Konami IP. And people just like cool-looking artwork. What can I say? It is also quite old. I think this is a 2019 Lost Art. Definitely happened before COVID. I remember that guaranteed. Harpy Queen here, 16 listings on this bitch. Uh, if you go verified without photos here, this card looks like it's finally decided to go up. Near Mets are 18. It's going up to 25. You have 18 copies here, but then going up to 40. I mean, a lot of people like their harpies. This is one of my favorite lost starts of all time. Hey, I like sexy in my card. Last Mark Watch, I was talking about elegancy. And of course, I love elegancy in my cards. But hey, your boy likes some fan service, right? Some side boob. Your, your mouth, my mouth's always open. Don Luke. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it ain't Yu-Gi-Oh without a little bit of cringe, right? Don's Luga Lost Art here. Now, these are way cheaper than I thought they would be. Like, I thought this would hold value, and the market just said no. Uh, you have a wall here, 44, for two whole dollars. Granted, they go up to, like, you know, threes with shipping here, but I feel like you should just get a set or two of this card. I feel like it's actually a very good investment at $2. Lumina here, I want to check up back up on her, see how she's doing. Uh, and she's holding about the $3 mark. If you go without photos here, 22 listings. About threes here. Going up to $5 bought me out here. You have a wall for 7 at $3, though. So I think $3 for Luma is still not that bad. Hero of the Vark Light. Use this in the Geist combos. It's a duality target. Ritual. I feel like Hero of the Arc Light is using so many decks. Yet it's not It's not bought out yet. It's kind of crazy to me. Uh, near Mint are about 5 bucks here for your Ultra Rares. It's not bad. If you guys don't have this card, definitely a card to have lying around. You can use it in a lot of decks here. Uh, would Konami be willing to hit this card? I would not be shocked. This card is pretty busted. And if they, it does get banned, I'm not upset. I'm just mad because Ritual really plays around this card with this card. And it really helps. Like, it'd be a detrimental hit to Ritual. Toon Kingdom. Want to look up on this. Uh, see how this is doing here. 38 listings. There's still 21 going up to 24 here. If you're looking for a cheap ulti, definitely go grab it. It's selling like hotcakes. Like, from the last time I've been selling it, it's it's still selling, actually, a lot of copies. So, I'm shocked that people are fire-selling this off for not even 40. 
Black Luster Solder, another car that we were looking at at about 25. Uh, and I said, hey, you should go grab this 30, 34 here. Not bad car, ulti at 30, 34 as well. Utopia, we saw this about $12. I said, go grab it. They're about 16 now, going up to about bottoming out at 20 dollars here and there's like a place or two here but it looks like this card's slowly but surely going up here if you didn't get yours copies at 12 15 16 are not that bad either emergency teleport so let me go over this last mark watch and i completely missed it now first in your mint life play is 12 going up to about 16 here not bad at ogs at 12 i actually told these people to get them at 3 4 i don't know how they went that far down and when they went up i was like well if you got them you made some money uh I, in fact i picked up myself extra copies ulti's here now i know unlimited does not go as crazy as it used to 30 for unlimited i actually think if you don't for if you don't are aren't a fan of crs yo ulti's are definitely it first eds are 95 hundred dollars here okay not bad uh emergency teleport crs 34th i'll be honest Go ahead, grab your ultis, not even comparison. And then secret rares here, about... Okay, let's see without photos here. I'd like to see English copies. 17, it's actually weird seeing them about half the price. But these, this is a rare cut version, and this card looks gorgeous. I am a big believer that this should have been a secret rare in its core set. But then imagine telling that being more money. Uh <laughs> But with that being said, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe. If you're buying any cards off TCG, please use my affiliate down in the description below. Helps out the channel to no additional cost to you. Let me know what I'm going over in the next Mark Watch in the comment section below. There's an awesome collab coming Wednesday, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.